Welcome back to the Pittsburgh Soccer Show here on Trib Live Radio. I'm Mike Graw alongside Trib Soccer writer Matt Grubba. I mean, we had a busy week for the Riverhounds, but there's only one thing that we're concerned with today. The Leicester City Filbert Foxes, <laughs> champions of England, 132 years of football in the Midlands at Leicester, first time ever champions, bar none, the greatest Cinderella story in all of sports history, move over Milan High School. <laughs> the Foxes are, Jamie Vardy's having a party at his house right now. I've never thought this before, Matt. I actually want to be at a party at Jamie Vardy's house, which seems like it would just be a dangerous proposition. I don't know. That sounds, that sounds like it might be a good time at one I of those bet. parties. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's you can just see it the way Twitter's blown up over the last My guess, whole time, a, hour, right. an hour now. It's the front page of ESPN, the front page of, of – the New York Post has a story about it on their front page. And, and, it's, and it, you just told me when you came up yeah, here, the I mean, Tribune it, Review, will, full will, coverage of the we Foxes. Have, we will have uh, coverage of it in tomorrow's paper. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not the one they're sending out to England. Don't think that's quite in the budget to do no. it. But uh, that's, uh, no. It, the you know, center just, of the sports world is Leicester, England tonight. Uh, I mean, really just an unbelievable story. And, uh, you know, only complaint I have about it, I was – Kind of hoping that uh, Tottenham would win today because I would have liked to see them clinch at home and on the field, not you know watching another game I, happen. I couldn't help but think that while I was watching it today, as much as you know, I would have started to get nervous till the upcoming weekend had Spurs, who had a two 0 lead over Chelsea going into halftime. It looked like Chelsea had lost interest in this match at halftime today. They come back with two second half goals, including an awesome goal from Eden Hazard, who's been a disappearing man for yeah. all, the entirety of this season. His best moment of the season came with an 83rd minute goal that secured the title for Leicester. Yeah, that, that's the one problem that there is with the way that European leagues are set up. In, in American sports, if you win the title, you win the last game and you're there and you're celebrating and you're having your dog pal on the field or the ice or exactly. wherever. Yeah. In, the, in this instance, you know, Leicester City, by not winning it on the last day when everybody's playing at the same time, they were sitting at, at Jamie Vardy's house having a party watching the match and they end up winning the title. That is, I mean, I love the double round robin format of England. Yeah, I is. like that the entire season matters, that we don't have this seating exhibition for six months before saying okay now the games really count like we do in a lot of american sports i love it that is the one downside yeah and there's pros and cons to both because you can make the argument that you know the format of of english soccer is you get a true champion i mean you play the double round robin in college sports you know the big big 12 always sure. brags about having the true round robin and having a true champion in football and and you have that same format in england you get a better I think the truest champion. You can, yeah, you can make the argument in the NFL so many times. You know, it's not necessarily the best team that wins the Super Bowl. It's the team that gets hot at the mm -hmm. right time. Think back to the Steelers when they beat the Seahawks. You know, yeah. going into that, going into that playoff the run, seed. they were the sixth seed. They three weeks before the playoffs started, they weren't even really in consideration yeah. for making the playoffs. They had to close on a win streak just to get in. So you can make the argument that uh, you know you get a better champion from soccer that way but you also that like we said that's the drawback is it's not always settled on the field at least it, it's settled on the field but not by the team that wins it necessarily never been a bigger underdog a longer shot to claim a major sporting title everybody's been hearing the number five thousand to one that the bookmakers offered in england for leicester city winning the title the bookmakers have now announced that they will no longer offer odds longer than a thousand to one, as they are estimated to take about a fifteen million pound hit from betters that threw a couple of bucks on Leicester City before the season started. Comparable five thousand to ones. I saw Paul Carr from ESPN tweeted out that Cal State Bakersfield, a fifteen seed in the NCAA tournament this year, was five thousand to one to win the NCAA tournament. Uh, I saw that the Minnesota Timberwolves in early January, when they were twenty-one games below five hundred were being offered at 5,001. They ended up missing the playoffs by 14 games. You also could have got 5,001 odds with William Hill bookmakers that President Obama would eventually be a cricketer for the English national team Ooh. if you wanted to get 5,001 odds. So to try and put into perspective how ridiculous this was, we're going to have a lot more coming up on the podcast, but uh, about Leicester City, about the Riverhounds, about Champions League. But for now, for Matt Graba, I'm Mike Graw for the Pittsburgh Soccer Show on Trib Live Radio.